Carroll Coast and the Prime Minister's Cup. The race had an unusual sequel with the trainer of the third horse, Cuba's Gold, unsuccessfully protesting against the winner, Never Quit. Never Quit coming after Cuba's Gold and Periscope coming at the pair of them on the outside. Never Quit grabbed the lead, 250 metres to go. Periscope trying hard to get on terms with Never Quit. Then Cuba's Gold and Cutter Page on the outside. Never Quit a length in front. Cutter Page coming after him and then Periscope. It's Never Quit in front of Cutter Page. Never Quit just in front of Cutter Page. Never Quit in front. Hanging on. Yes, he's won it. Never Quit beat Cutter Page. Tight third. Either Cuba's Gold or the fast finishing Globe Trotter. And the winner never quit. Ronnie Quinton started at 9 to 1. Color Page was 10 to 1 with Cuba's Gold at the good odds of 33s. Almost giving Marie Linden two cup wins in a week. Unplaced favourite was Tierra Wrist at 11 to 2. And it was horses for courses, basically, with the wet track form uh, which punters looked for today. That took the honours for the wet track form horses at Sandown on the nine race card with the daily double for three, my pal Mac, and 12, Matt Prince, and it paid $132 even. And the quadrilla for the numbers two, three, four, and seven paid $708.90. And Brian, that's all in sport. OK, Rob, thanks very much. When we come back, and for... A doctor after winning the $200,000 Prime Minister's Cup of the Gold Coast today. Quinton had starved himself to make the wait to ride the three-year-old Never Quit and the effort caught up with Ron in the final stages of the race. Never Quit grabbed the lead, 250 metres to go. Periscope trying hard to get on terms with Never Quit. Then Cuba's Golden Cutter Page on the outside. Never Quit a length in front. Cutter Page coming after him and then Periscope. It's Never Quit in front of Cutter Page. Never Quit just in front of Cutter Page. Never Quit in front. Hanging on. Yes, he's won it. Never Quit big Cutter Page. Never Tight Quit third. Ron Quinton first with Cutter Page second and Cuba's Gold third. Ronnie was very distressed as he dismounted to weigh in. The crash diet to make the weight had left him feeling very wonky. A protest was lodged by the trainer of the third horse, but that was thrown out once Quinton was fit to attend the hearing. When did you start to feel the pinch? It was only the last little bit and, and when I was pulling up, you know. You seem to, uh, while you're in action, you don't seem to notice it so much, but sort of when you pull up, you're fairly well exhausted, you know. And never quit. 7.35 for Win Colour Page, who won the race last year, 125. Cuba's Gold, 3.40. Trifecta, a big one, $2,316.80. Well, two teenagers, both apprenticed to trainer Jim Maloney, were in brilliant form at Sandown today. The boy with the long name, 17-year-old Darren Triander Falou, created a lasting impression when he won his first city race, whilst his 19-year-old mate, Matthew Harlan, took riding honours for the day with a double. Harlan's first winner came in the opening event on the program. He was riding the heavily back favourite Wolverton Diamond. Raw Edge trying to run down Wolverton Diamond and then Eaton Party. Wolverton Diamond a neck in front. Harlan goes for the whip again. Raw Edge tries hard, won't make it. Wolverton Diamond started at 10 to 9. Second Raw Edge at 11 to 2. And Eaton Party at 7 to 2. And Matthew admitted after the race he had some worries in the straight. She was inclined to get in a bit, you know. And... As she was getting in, she was sort of she sort of had her ears pricked, and I don't know whether that was just through greenness or cause of her shin soreness, but as she, she won, so I was happy about that. Yeah. Darren Triander for Lou's win came in the fourth event on the program on Fayette County. The mare had been trapped wide in the early stages. Triander for Lou rode an excellent race. Gauchi kept him in a pocket at the 200, but Triander Falou went towards the inside and gained a split. Front Fayette County's wearing it down. They're going to hit it together. Regal and counter Fayette County is a bob of the head. She's a good filly, I think. She's, she seems to find a lot. She keeps plugging away and she'll, she'll win a few more, I think. And I think young Darren will too. Fayette County 170, Regal and County 125, Andre's Folly 135, Trifecta 125.60. Now to the dividends of Quadrilla 2347, $708.90 at Sandown today. The Daily Double 3 and 12, 132, the extra on 3 and 2, 19, 10. And the Quad Extra today was a big dividend of $21,000 on 3, 4, 12 and 10. Well, the Victorian Government today came to the aid of the Australian Olympic Federation by the split in the centre. My Pell Mac is racing up the tackle. Bo Radiant now with Aster Man out wide from Norgwin Mist. My Pell Mac has taken the lead and My Pell Mac's going on to win. Bo Radiant second. Third placing very close. 
and Glenferry Flyer, the favourite of two, has got a long way back and never really looked a threat in the second leg. The sub and favourite, Niscaro. Evening up, Mr. Somebody put its head in front quickly, beat off on the inside, Solus Modulus. At them is Niscaro further out and joining in as Abbott's gift and Matt Prince down the outside from Radiant Knight trying to get out. And Farsil is finishing right down the outside. Abbott's gift took the lead, 150 out from Matt Prince and Farsil on the outside, 100 to go. Matt Prince and Abbott's gift have got to the front from Farsil and then here's the Duke. But taking the lead now as Matt Prince had got clear and Matt Prince is starting to draw away here from Abbott's gift. A good go for third and the run to the line. Here's the Duke may have got third. And Matt Prince at 25 to 1, putting most of us out of the quad extra. Nascaro, the unplaced favourite, at 11 to 4. At Sandown, the daily double, the combination of 3 and 12, $132 even. The quadrilla, 2, 3, 4 and 7, $708.90. And the quad extra, great dividend, 3, 4, 12 and 10, returning $21,011.60. I didn't have it. Up north, it was the $200,000 Prime Minister's Cup at Southport today on a track that had recovered remarkably well from the recent heavy rains. It was 11 to 2 the field with Colour Page trying to make it two wins in succession as we pick up Wayne Wilson's call of the finish. Never quit, grabbed the lead, 250 metres to go. Periscope trying hard to get on terms with Never Quit. Then Cooper's Golden, Colour Page on the outside. Never Quit, a length in front, Colour Page coming after him. And then Periscope, it's Never Quit in front of Colour Page. Never Quit just in front of Colour Page. Never Quit in front, hanging on, yes, he's won it. Never Quit, big Colour Page, tight third. And never quit with a nice pull in the weight, superbly ridden by Ronnie Quinton, who's obviously lost nothing following his enforced holiday after the Golden Slipper. A protest by the trainer of Cuba's Gold against the winner for interference at the 100 metre mark was dismissed. Premier John Kane today launched the 1988 Olympic appeal in Victoria and kicked off proceedings with a 150,000...